Hello everyone, welcome back to our Codeignator 4 tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about helpers in Codeignator 4. What is a helper? A helper is nothing but a group of functions or collection of methods under a specific category. Helper, as the name suggests, that will always help us in our application development. So here we have some of the predefined helpers. URL helper, form helper, cookie helper and file helper. Each and every helper contains some of the predefined methods inside those helpers. If you want to use those methods into our application development, first of all, we have to load the helper. Whatever the helper you required, you have to load the helper into our controller so that we can access the helper methods. Let us see how can we access the, how can we load the helpers into our controller. Whatever the helper it may be, that may be a predefined helper, that may be a custom helper. We can also create our own helpers, that will also I will tell you. So our custom helpers or extended helpers are going to be available in the following location and the predefined helpers are going to be available in this following location. What is the meaning of extending helper? For example, I have array helper, I have cookie helper, <coughs> I have form helper. Each and every helper having some of the methods. Additionally, if you want to add some more methods to them, Yes, we can add them. That is nothing but extending helpers. How can we add some other methods to the existing helpers? That is called extending helpers. I will show you how to extend the helpers, how to create our own helpers and how to load the helpers. What are the helper it may be? That may be a predefined helper. That may be a custom helper. That may be extended helper. How to load all these helpers into our controller? Let us see into action. Here I am ready with a controller class. Test helpers is my controller. It is having a method helpers. Just uh, index method having, I'm just writing a statement. Just you can refresh it and we are getting the output called helpers. Okay. Let us load the helpers. I want to load form helper. I want to load URL helper. So whatever the helpers we have, let us load them. So to load these helpers, we have a global function that is called helper function. Helper is a global function. Inside this function, we can pass the parameter that is nothing but the name of the helper. I want to load form helper. Yes, form helper is loaded. You want to load one more helper. So you can load one more helper. I want to load something called HTML helper. I want to load one more helper called cookie helper. So like this, we have a lot of helpers. So how do we know names of the helpers? Just to go through the manual, they, they will tell us what are the available helper, what are the names, how can we load the helpers into our controller? So they will guide us. So just go through the manual. This is how we can load the helpers. So if you want to load all the helpers at a time, yes, we can load the same helper method. So you written three times helper method, right? Now I want to load all the helpers at a time. To this helper function, we can pass an array. This array is going to be contain name of the helpers. Helper 1, helper 2, helper 3 like this we can pass. Let us see form helper and this is going to be HTML helper and this is going to be a cookie helper. Like this we can load. So this is always recommended. It is better practice to do like this. Try to load all the helpers at a time. So I am going to avoid this. Uh, in my application development, I will always go, I will always use the helpers. So all at a time only, right? Helpers are loaded. Once the helpers are loaded, we can load the helper methods into our controllers. Let us see, how can we call the helper methods? In the form uh, helper, I have a method called form underscore open. Can you see session is coming automatically form open. Now you can echo this. Every helper method should be echoed. And now I echoed. Now can you see, if you can execute and if you can refresh it, we can see the the helper where is the helper so helper is loaded huh? helper is loaded but the method is also you printed right can you see any output here what form open method is going to do you know it will create a form tag open form tag close just click on f12 can you see it is opening form tag and closing the form tag what is the action current page url and method is post utf8 car set so this is how the who generate this the form open method is going to be generate this output for example you want to write one more method echo form underscore input is one more method this method is going to create an input field so can you see now if you can just refresh the page we can see an input box on the screen can you see in the console the form tag contain one input element but you written separately right but still it is going to have inside the form tag only you can write one more field one more form input for every form fields input button radio button select box drop down box whatever it may be for everything there is a method in our form helper 
we we have to go through the uh, manual and we can check what are the helpers available in this uh, uh, form helper and all we can check it guys so if you want to pass a parameters to this i am passing something called username here if we can pass a parameter username this is going to be the name of the input field can you see here input type text there is no name attribute now if we can refresh the name of the input field is going to be username the second parameter is going to be uh, value of the for example i am going to give you something called go php i am going to give you this is the value of the input field if you want to set a value so this is going to be the value we can change the value also we can enter some other value also right like this we can set the values guys yes so uh, we can write the method one more helper is there i have base url is a function by using this method we can access the base url of our application this method is available in url helper url helper is not required to load here url helper is auto loaded by default by the system so we no need to load the helper library helper help uh, helper uh, url helper does not require to load now can you see it is going to print the current page url this is the base sorry not current page url this is the base url if you want to get the current page url we have another method echo current url is a method so by using this method we can get the current page total url what is the total url it is including a, a controller also right so now it is going to give the current page full path of the url for example if we can write index slash index it is going to give the index also can you see this is the current url we can get it so if you want to get the base url there is a method current url there is a method right so these methods are available in url helper that is not required to load that is automatically loaded by the system just we can access those methods into our application wherever we want i all we know one thing the form helper and the url helper are the mostly used helpers in our application development so uh, especially url helper it is going to be used everywhere so whenever we are integrating the theme also in the theme uh links uh, menu links there we use a base url for every page this url is going to be required that's why they make it as a global auto loaded so we don't need to load it manually in everywhere right this is how we can load the helper methods whatever the helper it may be so you can go through the helper manual there is a lot of methods i will show you not right now so all the helpers we are going to use in our application development whenever the helper requirement is there then i will use that helper in our application development this is how we can load the helpers right now i want to tell you how to extend the helpers extending in the sense for a existing helper you want to add some additional helper what is the name of the for example i want to work with array helper so if you want to go with array helper this is the array helper is loaded here like this we have to load the helper uh, array helper to this helper you want to provide any other methods yes additionally you want to provide yes we can provide this array helper but in our array helper in ci4 there is only one method they provided only one method if you want write your own methods yes we can write into it how can we extend this array helper if you want to extend the array helper first you have to go to app slash helpers folder this is your app helpers folder what is the name of the helper name of the helper is going to be array right your helper name should be contained like this if you want to extend this extend the existing helper it should be like this so it is going to be array underscore helper h e l p r name of the helper you have to provide like this array helper dot php yes helper is created so once the helper is created you can write your own method this is called extending already helper is there array helper is there this is predefined it was available in system if you want to extend the predefined helpers we have to create a file with the same name array helper dot php in your helpers folder this is your extending helper right now let me create one function here now i am going to create one function get random element get random number or whatever it may be so what i am doing here just let us write a small uh, array here this is this is expecting a parameter array so how can we get the random element so to get the random element we have to shuffle the array let us go s h u f f l e shuffle array dollar a r r is going to be shuffled after shuffling this i want to end so i want to find the end element so by using end method we can shift the array point to the last element so this end method is going to return the last element right so now i'm just returning this 
right now how can we use this if you want to use this get random method just you can go through your manual and already array helper is loaded right so now you can come to the controller method and just call the method echo get random so can you see the get random method is coming automatically in the session to this we have to pass an array so now let me pass an array to this i'm just passing an array this is going to be 10 20 30 40 50 something like this i pass some values if you can refresh for every refresh you will get a random value can you see oh something went wrong let me check it what is wrong here so i have my method call get random so what is the problem let me check guys here i have error is noted here end function expects parameter one to be array but boolean given go to your array helper so this is what exactly my shuffle method so it is going to be shuffle the array okay after shuffling the array it is going to give you the last element let me do one thing so this is once it is shuffled it is going to be an array now let me write this end function so i'm going to write end of dollar arr so and it should be written right let us write the return statement here written end of array element and let me refresh it now and i'm going to just refresh the page oh still i'm having error what could be the reason one more go to the log file and check it one more time so expects end function expects parameter one to be array boolean given let me check it one more time the same error is repeating so let me check I think uh, shuffle method does not, uh, it is going to return true I believe. So we have to pass an array to this end method. Don't write any variable here. So now you can just check it. I think so we can get the output now end function. So it is going to be written true if it is shuffled and end function always expects an array, right? So it is not going to be a Boolean value. Just refresh it and then I think you will get the output. I shuffle and refresh one more time. And for, did you see for every refresh, I'm going to get some different value for every refresh, right? We are getting some different, like this, we can extend the helpers. Not only this function, we can write some different, different functions and uh, inside of it, whenever they required in our application development. So framework provides some function if they are not satisfied our requirement, we can create our own functions under a specific category also. Now, this is nothing but extending array helper. Whatever the, for example, if you want to add some more additional methods into the form helper, we have to create one more helper, form underscore helper here, array underscore helper, form underscore helper in your helpers folder. Now, I want to create my own helper. Let us go. Your own helper should be, I want to create a helper name called test underscore helper. Every helper should be followed by underscore helper right name and underscore helper done now test helper is created now here i am going to write one uh, one function let us write one function here function uh, get random string okay or else let us write a method call r a n d o m random string i am going to write a function random string this is always expect a parameter called str some parameter we have to pass into controller based on the parameter it has to process your request so let us go and take a string here that are str equal to or else we can write a method str underscore shuffle is a method to this i am just passing some of the characters a b c d e f g h i j some parameters i pass it to this right so after shuffling this i want to get 15 to 16 characters for this i am going to use sub str function substring I am going to write this comma, 10 comma, <clears throat> I am going to write 10. What is the meaning of it from 10th position to 10 characters? Now, this has to be written. Just you can write a written statement. Now, you can you have to call this method into your controller. Let us see, what is the name of the controller? Name of the controller is going to be test helper. If you want to load this, you have to pass only test. Don't pass underscore helper, does not require, just pass the test helper. Test helper is loaded. After loading the helper, what is the method you have in this helper? We have a method called random string. Let us call the random string method. If you can type, it, it is going to give you the citation. Uh, I think so, echo, R-A-N-D-O-M, random string. Can you see here I'm getting the citation. We don't want to pass any parameter to this. Uh, I think I passed the parameter here, right? So just remove the parameter. Parameter is not required. So anyhow, I take in a static string, right? If you want, you can pass any parameter from the controller. Yes, you can pass it. Now I'm not passing any parameter. 
because I taken a static string, right? Now you can refresh it. If you can refresh, it is going to give the random string. Can you see? Both methods are calling. So 30 and 40, 20 you are getting. And after that, that is also we are getting, right? So this you are getting from your own helper. This 20, 30, 40 you are getting from extended helper. What is the helper you extended? Array helper you extended from that value we are getting. So this is how we can create our own helpers. And we can also extend the helpers in uh, wherever we want. I mean, whatever the helper you want, you can extend it. Otherwise, you want, you can create the helpers also. This is nothing but helpers. In upcoming sessions, we are going to explore, we are going to elaborate the helpers very more. Don't worry. So this is what exactly the helpers, guys. In the next session, we are going to discuss about form validations by using validation library. Right? Thank you, guys. If you have any doubts, please comment under the video section. Thank you all.